In today's video, we will see how to plant a lemon tree. And you can use this method to plant a variety of trees like an apple tree, a lot of citrus trees, a pomegranate tree, as well as a banana tree. When you go to buy a lemon tree, you will be overwhelmed with the varieties of lemon trees available. So let me break it down for you. There are true lemon trees like the Eureka, which is an ever-bearing no-thorn tree, as well as Lisbon, which has thorns and bears summer through fall. The other melons like Meyer have slightly thinner skin and are sweeter. We have the Ponderosa, which is a cr lemon cross with a citron plant. And we also have the variegated pink, which is basically the pink lemonade plant. So I chose to grow the Eureka semi-dwarf lemon plant just because it's ever bearing, it's a true lemon and it's very delicious. Now before you plant the lemon tree, you need to make sure you spray it with mineral oil and spinosad. You can see the video link on your screen right now which shows you how to spray your lemon and other citrus plants. And remember this needs to be done before planting the lemon tree. So spray it and leave it for a couple of days. So if you look at the location that we chose for the lemon plant, it gets sun for the most part of the day. And our first job is to dig a hole, which is about twice as wide and twice as deep as the container or your lemon tree size. Now we had a bush growing here, so I did dig out a little bit more of the the dirt so that I could get all the roots out and make sure there are no roots interfering when I was planting the lemon tree. Now when you dig your trench, whatever soil came out of the trench, make sure you keep it in some other place like a wheelbarrow. I just kept it aside in a hill. The reason is you got to mix your existing soil with some good quality garden soil or compost whatever you can get your hands on the reason is when you dig that deep and especially for soils that haven't been enriched there's not going to be a lot of organic matter left in the soil so what we will do is we will mix the existing soil as well as add some rich organic matter to the soil and for those of you who live in urban areas and cannot get things like horse manure or compost, there are options available. You can go to your garden center and get a bagged product, which is what I'm going to show you next. So this product by Stay Green is a tree and shrub garden soil plus fertilizer. And these are available in uh, two cubic feet bags and they're quite reasonably priced as well. So what you can do is just try to keep your pot in that location and see if you need to add more soil or if your plant is at the surface. So we will now remove the plant from the 5 gallon container it came in. So what you do is just tap around the plant, pull it out and very importantly loosen the soil around the roots as you can see that I'm doing here. That will really let the roots grow into the base that you're planting the tree at. So you keep adding additional garden soil so that the plant is planted well in its uh, place. And just compact the soil a little bit by either stepping on it or just pressing it with your hands. This will avoid creating a crater kind of a surface after you finish planting the tree. And add more soil as needed. This is the existing soil that was taken out of the area. I'm just going to mix it in as well around the plant. And then add more soil and level the surface as needed. And adding multiple layers and leveling it is really the key to setting up a plain level surface for your plant. Last but not the least, you need to water the plant really well after you've planted it. Water deep so that the water reaches the roots which are deep down below the surface. And 
and what we're gonna do next is add some mulch now I did add a weed barrier to the bottom before adding the mulch a weed barrier or a, or a landscape fabric cloth will prevent weed growth and then what I'm gonna do now is add some mulch I'm using a fine bark ground cover mulch and after you've added the mulch just spread it around your plant now mulch has a lot of benefits it first of all gives a very nice appearance to the area where you've planted your tree it also helps the soil beneath the surface to retain moisture and it also prevents growth of weeds around your plant which is why adding a mulch is so important when planting any kind of trees so a few weeks down the line our lemon plant is growing very well it's producing new leaves and the new leaves that it's producing are free from any kind of leaf miners or insects so I hope you like this video and I hope this video helps you plant your own trees growing trees is a great thing to do in your backyard if you have the space you're going to be blessed with a lot of fruits all year round I'll see you again soon happy gardening